Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got some pretty special content coming your way this week. We're going on a trip. We got the truck all loaded up here. Pillows, frostbite rods, frostbite baits, augers in the back, tent, and uh, we're with Jared. We're just filling up some windshield washer fluid. Where are we going, Jared? North Bay, Ontario, baby. And what are we going, what lake are we going to? Uh, Nipissing. To fish in the ice bungalows oh, and catch. Yeah, some, some mega walleye, some ling, burbot, some fish, perch maybe, yeah. maybe big pike. And uh, it should be a pretty great trip. We just stopped in Mattawa. Uh, we left this morning. Jared left his house at five. Uh, he was at my place for six. We drove all the way up. We have Steve and Charles in a car, maybe about an hour behind us. Uh, they were a little bit off schedule and uh, we're an hour out. We're gonna sleep in the ice bungalows at BAM's Fishing Adventures. And uh, yeah, should be a great, great trip. Hope to get on a lot of fish. Stick with us. It's gonna be four days on the ice, three nights, epic time. Just got the windshield washer all filled up. We're good to go. Oh, yeah. And we're back on the road. Go for orders or anything? Uh, I think so, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Oh yeah! What up, boys? Yeah. Hey! Are you ready? <laughs> We're ready. Holy crap, that was a nice drive, man. My legs are numb. <laughs> oh, how long you guys been here? Half hour. Okay, not bad, not yeah. bad. We did a little detour, checked the lake <laughs> oh, out. Yeah. Stephanie! Oh, God! Yeah, How's it going, good, boys? Man. That was a drive. How are ready? <laughs> hey, hey, you are Your we Charles. ready? Ready. Can't wait. Oh, Four boy. days sleeping on the ice. Hell yeah. yeah. Well guys, we made it. We're in our shack. All the boys are here. Steve. What up, what up? Steve's buddy Charles. We can see Jared over there in the corner. We got all our holes opened up, ready to go here. And uh, I just dropped the underwater camera in and there was actually, I was making a joke on the way down with the camera saying like, oh, there's two walleye on the spot. And Steve's like, oh really? And I was like, no, there's nothing. I'm still dropping in. Then I hit bottom and there was like six white fish that I got on the camera. Some big white fish, so. Uh, the shack seems to be in a good spot. We seem to be on some fish. We got all our rods ready right now, and uh, we're about to drop in. It's midday. It's like uh, 2.30 right now, so prime bites approaching. We're here for four days. Let's get on it. Lake Nipissing, walleye, burbot, whitefish, smash fest. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Maybe. Don't put out your vexy. It's a whitey. It's a whitey. Let's go. It's a whitefish. Nice! Oh, fish. Actually, it's, fish. it's a lake herring, I think. Yeah, eh? Yeah. That's what it is. Well, guys, first fish of the trip. I think it's actually a Cisco and not a whitefish. But uh, definitely welcomed. Small one. Be good pike bait. Let's get him back. Down, bud. Could we use him as pike bait? No. There you go. You got her. Looks... First fish of the trip! Yeah, baby. Steve, the F-bombs. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, babe. <laughs> <laughs> that's a I nice, got a fish! That's a nice <laughs> herring, though. Yeah, that's a nice herring. Kidding! Nice. Face only a mother would love. <laughs> ugly fish. <laughs> what an ugly fish. Let's put him down. 
Thank you, buddy. Sure, we cook that up, no? No, we don't cook up a herring. A herring? I think it's not going to be. No. <laughs> well, guys, there we go. First walleye of the trip. After losing two back to back, pretty good fish and a couple lake herring. There's the first one, and it's a keeper for Nipissing, so we got fish for the pan tonight. There's more fish down there. They've been coming in pretty steady. It's like uh, close to 4 o'clock now, so I imagine the bite's going to pick up pretty good here. Caught that fish on the Frostbite True Grit and uh, the Tantrum right there. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Let's not put her back in the water. So we're going to get back down there. Didn't have that fish on uh, GoPro. Uh, the guy for the shacks just showed up and we were chit-chatting and that fish came out of nowhere. So I'm gonna drop back in, hopefully get another one. That's, that's a, big, a nice this one. This is a big fish. Yeah, that's a nice one. Pike. Oh yeah, it's a pike. I almost did like the guy in the TikTok video. I saw with this finger. Yeah, right. with his finger, the idiot. A piker! We got some multi-species dog. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> right over there. Steve missed him and I stole him. <laughs> <laughs> you went to Charles? Nope. Uh, to Steve? Nope. Yeah, you, we all missed the hook set there. All right, guys. So Steve just had uh, another herring. I got a nice pike for us. So we got a couple walleye move in now. The tantrum's doing some work for me. Got this beauty pike. And uh, Jared and Steve, uh, Jared and Charles still need to get on the board because uh, they're slacking. <laughs> <laughs> See you, bud. Let's get back Listen, to it. Guys. Small. Nice one. What? Nice one, yeah. But one hook. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I think we're we have putting some uh, big baits. Yes. That's a nice one, too. Is that a keeps? I'm going to check her out. We might have two for the pan. All right, guys. Wallet number two. The tantrums are putting in work. They are biting. We are on the fish. We are right beside the guy that owns the shack's shack. So we are in the spot. We're gonna give this fish a little measure here. 16 and a half incher. Got another keeper for yeah. the pot. Dinner bell, dinner bell. Let's go. Badger. Let's go! Nice. Oh my gosh, dude. that's Walter. Oh, that's a nice Walter. one. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. <laughs> so Andrew's been catching all the fish today. <laughs> Too small. Nice Going back. See you, bud. What's going on, Steve? Is there one on? Don't swear. Yeah, boy. Yeah, Steve, you got it. We got one on. You got it. Good job. Not big, but... Walleye yeah. or burb? I think more Walter. We'll take our it is a Walter! Walter! Nice Walter! That's yes! Yeah. That's yeah! I didn't swear, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> nice little Walter. That's a beauty. I'm the dead stick, boys! Oh, oh, oh. Look in three quarter. <laughs> a little bit small. Let this guy go. Thank you, buddy. Nice and healthy. Nice. Oh yeah. Let's go. Put these bad boys. Another guy. Let's go. We got another herring. Herring. Ah. Yeah, watch out. You don't want to get a hook in the. <laughs> no, definitely. Nice little herring. Yeah, bud. It's a little musky, bud. <laughs> Chilling in the shack with the Chilling herring. Chilling on the shack. Okay. On the macho minnow. Macho. Macho. Just woke up, still in my sleeping bag. We got Jared and every, the whole gang over there. 
Charles. Stevie Boy's making Set coffee. Oh, it caught the floor. Charles just got a floor. Charles just got the floor. Oh. It's the only thing he's got since we've been here. <laughs> and uh, it's been pretty good. Last night was a little bit slow. We didn't have any linger burbot. Uh, but we had nine walleye, four herring, and a pike. And I had all those fish except for a herring and a walleye. Steve had the herring and the walleye. Jared and Charles today are going to make some headway. So they're going to catch a bunch of fish. Played a little bit of poker last night. I won that as well. And uh, I'm just taking all their money. We have a little bet going from most fish, biggest fish, and smallest fish. And I'm leading all those too, so. For now. For, for now, now. For now. It's only day one. So uh, we just got the lines in. It's pretty early. It's like uh, 6.15. We got maybe half an hour till sun up. And uh, Pan Optics is in. And we are ready to jig. The number one bait for me yesterday, for the walleye anyways, were the medium sized tantrums on the Frostbite True Grit Rod. So that's what I'll be rocking right away this morning. And hopefully we can get a few more fish topside and in the pan. So let's see what happens. Oh, he's about to get another one, boys. He's coming in hot. <laughs> this guy, I'm right next to you rattling! I'm rattling right next to you! You called it in for him. Oh, oh yeah, Steve, you're gonna, you're gonna get one, Steve. Why? Why? Why didn't mine follow me? Why didn't mine follow me? <laughs> it's a rattling to Rapala. Dude, I have thousands and thousands and thousands of hours on the ice. We're at 10 fish. I mean, he's at 10 fish. <laughs> <laughs> this is sick. Dude, we're doing really good. I'm stoked. We're doing amazing. Went off money. the bottom. <laughs> I got a body. Huh. Oh, new right. perch on the perch! No species! New species! Smallest fish! Five bucks! Yeah! Woo! That is smallest! Yeah! That is smallest for yeah. sure! <laughs> perch boy! And you got two perch species! Boy. Yeah, I got two so species! So you're catching up! Jared, first fish of the morning, bud! What nice do we got? Walleye. I can't see him. Yeah, nice walleye! Oh. Nice walleye! In there. Gotta get in there, bud. Yeah! Sick. Let's go, okay. buddy. Broke the ice. Yes, yeah, sir. So the only fishless guy is Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boy. Yeah, buddy. There you go. Charles is on the board. Yes. Let's see him. Nice little one. Hey. We don't. Size I don't, needed that, baby. Size, Turn on. Size don't matter right now. Thank That's you. what she said. <laughs> All right, Charles, do the honors. Add the click. Add your click, baby. What's there our tally? We, we are at 16. a total tally. Sixteen, baby. Sixteen fish. There you go, guys. My first walleye of the morning. It's the third one of the day. We were just saying how we haven't seen any, and we've had a uh, few herring roll in, so. Put a super mini tantrum, the smallest size that they had on. Thinking I'd get some herring. Four pound test line. Ultra light rod. Nice walleye. Maybe a keeper, we're gonna give her a quick measure. Yeah, 15, uh, oh, 16 incher. Keeper? That's a keeper. Let's First nice one of look. the day for the pot. We got three to cook up today. We'll add this one to our shore lunch. And uh, hopefully one or two more. Box them. They look bigger in the water still too. The magnifying effect. Nice. Nice. And this one? Good luck. <laughs> yeah. There you go, man. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. Nice walleye. Keeper. Yes, buddy. Way to go, bud. We're just saying how slow it's getting. See if we're still gonna go make food now. <laughs> the buckshot? Yeah. Buckshot, Jared. Switch off soon, man. Good job, Jared. You're my hero. Heroes don't always wear capes. Please, <laughs> <laughs> please. So, 16 inch. That's 15. a keeper. 15 three quarters is where we can keep them at. We gotta keep Keeper. it, Jared. 
My man. Let's see. My man. Imagine he flew right back in the hole. <laughs> Keeper. <laughs> it ain't a Cisco. Uh, bounced it on the bottom and just like, It's a Walter. Here, here. Here, here, baby. The lucky bait for me. Yeah. The macho minnow. Macho minnow. Per cheek. Buckshots have been doing good. Yeah. Tantrums for me. Going good. Oh, thank you, buddy. Right yeah. on. Is that a keeper? Might be. Oh, it might be. So typical day. First keeper of the day. Check. We need 15 and three quarter. To 17 and three quarter. Like basically everything you can. Or you can come and get like the full meal every day, lunch every day. Ah, bring me your mommy. Bring me your mommy. <clears throat> Thank you, buddy. Right on, baby. And then when you get out there, let's click that. <laughs> oh shit! You want me adjusting? Yeah, I want it. So we were hitting bottom. You can see yeah. the rod. That big dipsy dive we put on is digging the bottom. Oh, so that's the short. Just that's making contact. Thing. So usually <laughs> when we hit contact with bottom. I want to just bring it up to my turn. Because it's sexy for the Well guys, little update. Uh, it's like 4.30 on the second day now. We've been fishing about 25 hours. We have 35 fish now. Um, quite a few herring, maybe a dozen or so herring, dozen walleye, a pike, bunch of perch, and uh, no burbot yet. But uh, Jared just got a really nice fish. Don't think she's a keeper, but 14 and a half incher. The slot here on Nipissing is actually uh, 15 and three quarters. Right here, 15 and three quarters by 17 and three quarters. And then pike has a slot too, but we're not keeping any pike, so. But all in all, it's been a really great day. We still got a full day tomorrow and uh, half a day on Sunday. So we're hoping that we can get into the burbot tonight. The walleye bite was a little bit slow today, but uh, we had very cold temperatures and the guys that run the shacks here at BAMS on Nipissing, uh, we told them that we are doing really good. And uh, of course, uh, they brought a few shacks over right beside us and now there's guys like right beside us, so. Not a bad thing, I don't think. I think it's more the weather that's affecting the bite, but uh, hopefully tonight it's supposed to actually get milder, and tomorrow will be a high of uh, minus 10, so maybe tomorrow we'll have a really good walleye bite, and tonight some massive, massive burbot in the shack, so only good things to come. We're uh, about to do up some supper. Uh, we might do a little uh, catch and cook, some walleye, butter, and salt and pepper, and uh, we have a few other things on the menu too, and then fishing all night with probably another poker game. And we got we got the TV going, some movies here. Some uncut angling. We're watching the uncut angling, season one right now, and uh, season two will be right after. So uh, stick with us. Still got a day and a half left. Mark and fish right now. I'm about to get back to it because Charles is on them. Let's go. The same size, I'd say. Feels pretty good, but it's here. Oh, it's a, it's a freaking herring. That's what I thought on he was the going to be. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big boy. I'm going to get hooked. They're so slippery. Yes. Oh, tantrum, let's dig it. He ate the tantrum. I can't believe there's even herring still around right now. Lake Cisco. No bite or nothing. We don't want that one. Dude, what is happening? Is my whole freezing up? I'm gonna run and check my bait. <laughs> right on. We're getting our fish ready here. We're gonna have a little shore lunch. We're gonna give uh, a little sharpening to the knife here. Really important to make sure you have a really good sharp knife. The way I clean fish anyways, I like to cut right through the uh, rib cage where it connects to the backbone, so making sure that knife is good and sharp really helps we're gonna cook it up with some panko and oil later do like kind of like a deep fried fish batter here we go so the way i do it is behind the head a little bit of a diagonal angle to the bottom of like these fins right here and i go right down to the spine turn 
Whoa. Push it more towards you. No, that's okay. Turn. Come right through. Leave it connected on the tail. Flip my fish so I can cut away from myself. The ribs are coming through right here, just behind the ribs. And then halfway down, turn underneath the ribs. Like that. Now there's still a little bit of bones left, like uh, there's like a rib line that goes right to the skin, so I go along this side of it, on that side of it. Flip my fish again, so it's away from me. Now I just go down to the skin, run it all the way along. Now that little section of bones that was left just kind of pulls up. We cut that out. And you're left with like a little pair of pants. Boneless. Maybe we'll grab cheeks too. What do you boys think of the fish? I've never had walleye this good in my life. Like, no joke. This is delicious. Really Nothing nice. special. Pan fried. Let me taste butter, it. Butter, salt, pepper. Delicious. Tomorrow we're going to do the panko. Eggs. Freshly freaking grilled. Oh, yeah. From the hole yeah. to um, the pan. To the other hole. Into the other hole. <laughs> Wow, honestly, very good job. And I don't eat fish. Like I don't like eating fish. This is like salmon. This is wow. Amazing. Amazing. Is there a bird? There? That's about it. We got a keeper. Sure. We gotta be quick. I just got one on the dead stick. Like it already feels like nice in fish. bed. Nice fish. In bed. In the sleeping bag. I'm in my sleeping bag. Oh. Here's the bag one. Bling, 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 bling. Not bad, not bad. Just crammed in the bed. Two bite brownies. Two bite brownies. We're on 39 hours season two. Yeah. And we just got our uh, limit fish of the day. Oh, little bonks. Back to sleep. Morning, guys. Just woke up. Sun is just coming up over the horizon right now, and uh, we had a pretty good night. We had two fish for the night. It's actually really windy today, much more mild than yesterday, and uh, we're about to start the day. We got the paint optics in. We're all dialed. Everybody's dropped in but me. Um, I'm gonna start off the day with what I've been catching the most of the fish with. So I switched colors. I'm using uh, like a yellow and uh, perchy colored tantrum now. Uh, the True Grit, 38 medium, 10 pound Power Pro on a Shimano Sienna with a small six pound um, piece of fluoro, about three feet long, tied to a barrel swivel. So the rattle's done really good for me. I've caught a few fish on spoons. Everybody else seems to do have done really well on spoons. And Steve yesterday caught a majority of his fish on uh, live minnow, just uh, sitting off bottom in between everybody actively jigging. So. We'll see what today brings. We got a limit of walleye to clean from yesterday, and uh, we're gonna have a scrumptious panko shore lunch today. Again, should be a great day. Stick with us. Fish will start moving in here shortly, and uh, hopefully we get a big one. We haven't had any big uh, fish landed yet. Our biggest is maybe 18 inches or so, and uh, we're really trying to get a nice mid 20 inch walleye. We've lost two good fish. Maybe a big walleye, maybe one of them was a pike, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what today brings. Man, our screen, my screen's full. Yeah, there's like so many of them. No, ahead. I don't even know where I am. Oh! That's oh, a jumbo! Oh, baby! 
That's a nice halter, but that's the biggest of the day. The day. That's the biggest of the trip. <laughs> the trip. That's what I read. That's the first of the Who day. Who saw it? On nothing. He looked on. I he he like, looked down on panoptics, so and, and he's like, "What's that mark right there beside my mark? My mark?" And then he's like, picks up his rod, bam, in the bam. That's a nice fish. Super nice, nice first fish. keeper of the day. Yeah, man. Here, let me get some picks. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thank you, girl. Well, there's your 15 bucks. Yeah, and my $15 fish. So $15 far. fish, that's the biggest one. Oh, she's good to go. Yes, sir. Yeah. Can we make a. Boys. There we go. Little herring. We were sure they were white fish when we were first started catching these, but nope. Bite bait. Going back. Back in, in and out. Come on. Yeah, I saw his head just come back out. There you go. Oh no, we have our lines right there. What do we got, Jared? And another boat? You guys are on the line. What I? Go by me. Go by my wallet. Oh, it's, dude. Yeah? Face hooked. Yeah, in the face. With a bit of lip. Watch out. Uh, nice. Yeah. yeah? No, not you're no, good. Not anymore. Yeah. Let's go. Back in the hole. Where is that? He took my 54. Well, guys, it's been a pretty slow afternoon. We had a pretty fire morning and finally just got a pike. Came out of nowhere and just whacked the tantrum from frostbite. Gave a really good fight, tangled in Steve's line on the way up. And uh, let's get it back. Bye bye. Oh, he's still there. <laughs> First time I see one on Nice walleye. Yeah, boy, man! Yes. Watch your foot, you don't get that in the foot. That's a keeper. I think so. Now a lot of those are looking like carp. That's a five. Look at their hands. Are they all carp? On the hyper glide. I saw him coming. I think that's what they want right now, like some more. On the hyper glide with the wings. Pop it up. Let's measure this guy. We're going to make one more move. We're gonna set up double eight. 15 three quarter. Yeah. Got a keeper, baby. Chum, so we're gonna throw some chum in the water. Into the bucket. Nice fisher. Nice fish, huh? Thank you, fishy. Hell yeah. Morning, guys. Last day here at the shack. We're all just waking up. It was a lot harder this morning to get up. And uh, we had some mega, mega winds last night. We got some big snow drifts. I don't know if you guys can see too well, but there are gigantic halfway up the truck snow drifts. So we gotta try to get the cars all the way back down there to that point, like past the shack and around it. So it should be pretty fun. We're sitting at uh, 65 fish right now, and we're hoping to hit 70 before we went. We've had uh, a bunch of walleye, some herring or lake ciscos. Uh, we think we actually had a barbit last night. Um, three pike, maybe six or seven perch. It's been a very, very good trip. Uh, bams, tours, nipissing, absolute, absolute blast. Uh, the shacks are great, propane heat. Uh, lots of space to fish. We didn't even fish outside or go explore or anything. We had great, great fishing in the shacks. Uh, link all BAMS uh, info down below. The guy's name's Sean, and uh, it's close to Calendar Bay in Nipissing, and he goes out on the main lake. And yeah, absolute great stay, great people, great fishing. Uh, we had some great food, but uh, it's not over. We still have like uh, maybe three hours, two, three hours we're gonna fish. Hopefully get up above 70 fish. And uh, we're going to try to drive back. Might get stuck. And uh, that'll be the end of the video. But stick with us. Might still have time to get one more monster. We've had one big bite a day. And uh, we've lost every single one. So <laughs> today might be the day that we actually get to land one of those big fish. Stick with us. We'll see what happens. It's been a blast. Got a big one. Probably the biggest walleye of the trip. Maybe uh, 19 inch or so. Absolute beauty. He is pissed. 
That's the first mark we've had this morning. I just finished the intro and I'll show you guys where he took this rattle trap. Absolutely choked it, like gone. Gone. Rattle trap, sorry, it's a buckshot. That'll be our first keeper of the day. We're getting closer to that 70 fish mark now. It's funny because when we came here we said, uh, oh it'll be great if we have like 40 fish. And like we had 40 fish on the second day. I'm gonna show them here in a second. There we go. This is what did the damage. Nice little orange and yellow buckshot spoon. I'll show you that guy one more time. Awesome fish. Gonna give him a measure just to make sure he's not too big. I kinda think he might be. Yep, he is. No. 18 three quarter. There we go, one last look at him. We'll get him back. Bye. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Sweet. Oh, nice buddy. pike, Charles. Nice, nice pike. Pike, pike. pike hour. Let's go. Oh, Mac, this is unreal. No way. You told me you are going to take me to the juice, Mac. That was a good one. 10 o'clock, eh? First fish of the day. I said earlier that no. I'll, I'll fish all day. That's two days or three days for one. Swing chick. I don't care to put on a smaller fishing in the shack. That was a nice Charlie boy. Yeah. <laughs> this is nice. Well, guys, gonna wrap it up here. It was a pretty awesome trip to Nipissing. Uh, Sean over at BAMS Tours, great guy, great staff. Isaac, the guy that works for him. Uh, they had us hooked up. We had generator the whole time we were there, could charge up all the cameras. Fishing was amazing. We ended up having 67 fish, a mix of some of those Lake Cisco's, a lot of walleye, uh, maybe eight or so perch, three pike, uh, but no burbot. I really wanted the burbot, never happened, but absolute awesome trip. And uh, now I'm going home for a day and then heading to the Bay Quinty. Seven days, got clients, some filming. Uh, we are gonna get on some monster walleye down there as well. So uh, thanks for checking out this week's video, guys. And uh, until next week, be sure, go down below, subscribe, and uh, see you guys then. Thanks. <laughs>